Hi, everyone. Um, thank you for all coming. How's uh, everyone's uh, show been going so far? Good? Yeah? Feet sore? Mine are. Uh, <laughs> uh, but again, I appreciate you guys for, for coming here, listening uh, to just this um, overall presentation, just going over um, some different storage strategies that um, uh, we at Synology have come up with in regards to allowing different production studios, freelancers, um, audio, video editors, everyone in that space um, to kind of be able to move up beyond their hard drives uh, and just be able to establish a more efficient um, and cleaner overall storage um, solution. So uh, I'm from Synology. My name is Mark Anthony. I'm one of the account managers um, in our Washington um, Bellevue office. Um, and day-to-day, uh, -day I'm having business conversations with uh, different companies, specifically within the media and entertainment industry to uh, find out more of, um, to solve some of their workflow problems, whether it be better file collaboration, which I'll get into later. But in regards to what Synology does, um, we uh, are a um, hardware and software um, unified solution in regards to what we offer. Um, we're great for, for data storage, uh, backups, and, 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 and a lot more, um, which I'll get into in a little bit. Um, I'd like to highlight um, one of the local studios in Washington that we deal with, Matchstick Productions. Uh, they've been in the industry for almost, or more than 30 years, a couple dozen films, a good amount of, of TV episodes. And um, essentially, they came to us looking for, um, um, and they're, they're a prime example of, of a studio that we've helped improve. Um, and essentially, this is what their workflow um, looked like before we um, really um, helped their overall storage solution. Um, is anyone familiar or have an exact same looking setup at home or in their studio? Yes, yeah, we got a couple of uh, editors here. So <laughs> um, that's, um, that's exactly um, w the kind of conversations that we have. And a lot of the conversations that we've had at our booth as well um, really just a lot of people are, are, are working with or have been contracted by these big brand names like Netflix, um, HBO, name the like, and they're working with these really expensive content, um, but so they only have it stored in one location, one hard drive, um, without any kind of you know uh, different versions or a, a, a solution if that hard drive were to go away. So if you're familiar with this, this, this picture right here, I'm sure you guys are uh, familiar with the overall storage solution or strategy for dealing with a lot of external hard drives. You store them on your desk or you know a physical closet or vault, um, which in, in regards to your overall workflow, um, you're dealing with you know slow collaboration, um, getting that, uh, that data, those project files to one edit to editor to another, different departments. Um, and when it comes to just organizing those drives, remembering how you're labeling them, what specific content is on each drive, um, and then um, whether that specific you know, editor or a uh, different department of your organization is in a different location, you're having to actually physically ship those drives and that you know, can cause a lot of different, um, uh, different factors for you know, the drives breaking or getting lost in transit. Um, so um, you're not alone in, in, in dealing with this. This is a conversation that we're always having, um, but we do have a, a solution for you. Um, at Matchstick Productions, Murray Weiss is the executive producer and director, and essentially came to us um, and is pretty much outlined that they need a more functional storage solution to allow for um, just better turnaround time, a better workflow um, to be able to um, get through their projects a lot more effectively, a lot more efficiently. Um, and because when it comes down to it, you know, all the all the media files, all the projects that are on these drives, that's your livelihood. You know, that's going to be the overall factor on how fast and how efficient you would be able to finish your overall project. And your storage shouldn't be the bottleneck or the factor that is limiting the success of that edit um, of getting those marketed materials to your clients or throughout your organization. Um, so in regards to some of the different storage options that you have, we explored, you know, DAS, the external hard drives, S SD cards that you're working with. Um, there is also cloud services and storages that you could use um, to be able to kind of push it um, to the cloud, you know, to allow for better accessibility, whether it be remotely, um, but, you know, somebody else is managing that data. Um, and you're having to pay for that as well. Um, when it comes to network attached storage Synology, 
we sit in the middle and we pretty much give you the best of both worlds to be able to um, access those files locally within um, the network in your office or even remotely um, for your remote editors or remote employees. Um, so we'll uh, dive into what a NAS is for those who may not be familiar with it. Um, as I've said, it's network attached um, storage. So essentially what it is, it allows you to store all your footage, folders, files um, on a particular hardware unit, which is connected to your network and any of your editors um, or even your different departments can be able to access um, those files um, um, on the hard drive or the, the NAS solution directly over the network without having to physically either walk those drives over um, the office or get them shipped out. So it allows for um, just a lot more efficient to be able to get those files on hand to you know, the destination the, to make it move through the production cycle itself. So for today, I wanted to talk on these three specific topics when it comes to working with a Synology NAS, um, allow for you know, centralized storage instead of um, having to have one editor take a drive and then have that go to the next editor and, and just be a lot um, cleaner when it comes to file collaboration. Um, remote sharing when it comes to how we've seen the industry change with the uptick of remote workers um, and just being able to provide a better experience for getting some of that project uh, updates to your clients and your customers. And then um, lastly, um, but one of the most important is backup and recovery, um, just in case you know anything were to happen to that said external drive or just your data in general. So let's dive into centralized storage and specifically with Matchstick Productions, you know, um, and a lot of you may be experiencing this now in order to be able to move along with the project, you'd give that specific external hard drive, you know, from your closet, from your desk, give it to an editor, and then they would save that on that external drive and then it would move on to the forward, next, next, and then if it goes to uh, you know, a, a remote editor, we would ship it there as well. For their current solution after they deployed a Synology NAS, all of their project files, all of the media that is important to the project can be accessible to all of their editors on the local network or their on-site employees at the office, and even for their remote editors um, on the external network or their off-site employees um, so that um, everyone has access to it in a centralized location um, instead of having to wait for the drive to move from one process to the, another, to the next, um, and just be able to um, have those on hand, or at least be able to view. Um, so we covered centralized storage in regards to remote sharing. We'll kind of, we'll look into different ways where um, we can have a better way of sharing these files, um, these different project, uh, the different stages of the project with either um, internal employees and internal colleagues, and also clients and customers. So we're familiar with this overall diagram, and what I wanted to do is kind of highlight specifically our um, kind of remote editors. You know, everyone is able to access the files, whether on-site or off-site. Um, but in regards to um, what we've seen is that they would have to individually download each project file, each media, which can take a long time, right? We're, we're well aware that within the media and entertainment industry, videos, fo uh, fo photos, and just overall assets are huge, you know, and having to download each of those individually can take quite a long time. But we're aware of this and we have a solution for it. Um, so you have your primary uh, NAS at your main office with all your project files. Um, we would then have a, a similar model or even a kind of a lower bay unit uh, deployed at the remote office or at one of your, you know, freelancers that you work with deployed in their network. And then through our software, which is um, included with all of our hardware, we would be able to sync a specific folder where all the project files are stored and have that automatically synced to the, um, to the remote editor's uh, NAS so that it's locally downloaded. They don't have to individually uh, download those files. They're all there locally for them to be able to work. Um, and it's a two-way sync. So any changes that are being made on the remote office are automatically synced back to the main office for the editors there to be able to take the next step in regards to their overall project um, and would be able to um, move, the, move the overall um, deliverable to its final stage or you know, the next process. Now, we covered internally. Um, 
we're gonna go ahead and uh, when Murray brought us to a, uh, brought us brought up to us uh, wanting to be able to share you know the status status of these projects to their clients um, specifically their marketing teams their social man um, social media managers and uh, uh, with a Synology NAS we can it's it's very simple um, for you know the different departments that are looking to access the files or share the files you would just be able to create a file share link and then you would be able to give that link to your clients um, to download directly from the NAS we've seen you know, before this, they would have to upload the overall project to the cloud, and then um, it just would need a third-party software. All of this, in terms of the Synology NAS, would be within our own ecosystem. It's very simple steps without having to bring a third-party service um, to be able to get those files either to your internal um, uh, departments, internal employees, and even to your clients for, you know, marketing assets. So lastly, we'll cover um, backup and recovery. This is um, really where we want to kind of drive the overall um, importance of having a second copy or being able to recover if something were to happen. Because we all know um, there's a lot of different things. And we've covered you know, draw hard drive being uh, lost in the mail, failure, um, or it could just be as simple as an accident dropping a drive um, or spilling coffee. Um, um, on the unit itself, and with um, within the pandemic, we've seen a huge uptick in an overall um, ransomware attacks um, and and things like that. So we want to be able to also uh, take into account things that are outside of your control, um, whether it be fires, floods, or any other natural um, disasters. So here at Synology, we follow a three two one uh, backup strategy, um, which to kind of outline it is three copies of your data spread across three um, different devices. And at least one of those copies are on a different kind of device, whether it be a cloud um, or even tape specifically within a studio. Um, and then one offsite copy um, to be able to recover um, and efficiently restore and work with the project files that may have been lost in whatever um, attack or, or, or natural disaster that may have happened. For the offsite backup um, options, our units are really flexible. Um, and here we have it outlined some of the different um, locations where you can um, do an offsite backup. So there is another NAS, um, which is a kind of great for just overall redundancy. Um, it, it could be an automatic, um, it's an automatic backup. You know, there's no recurring costs. It's not like a license-free software. It's, it's something that you have available for you to use when you buy one of our units. Um, but it does require a second location. Um, cloud, uh, a cloud backup service is, is similar. It, it's automatic. There isn't any kind of hardware maintenance, but you would have to pay, you know, monthly and yearly subscriptions to be able to have that storage, and someone else is managing um, those backups um, for you. And then, of course, the third option is external hard drives. You know, um, some of the some of the DAS options that you guys have been working with. Um, but what's great is that all of these all of these overall um, destinations are are available um, any or all um, with a Synology NAS. So um, we are pretty flexible in making sure that you can recover uh, and be able to work with and get your project going no matter what happens. So um, in regards to kind of everything, uh, everything that we talked about, we really established a way for you to be able to collaborate better um, in regards to sharing files and getting files across your, your, over, your overall organization. Um, we covered um, remote sharing for um, when it comes to working with you know, different marketing teams within your organization and also getting those materials and status updates to your clients and customers. And then also um, our, our backup, our kind of a brief overview into our backup suite um, and how you can uh, make sure that no matter what happens to your drives or your files, um, you can efficiently um, recover. Now, this, these three different aspects are just a small slice of our Synology pie um, when it comes to you know, some of the things that are already available for you to use um, when you use our solution. Um, so please. Um, uh, I want to thank you and feel free to stop by our booth. Um, so we'd love to be able to kind of dive deeper and, and kind of answer any questions. But I appreciate you listening to me and uh, for stopping by. So thank you.